Let's go. Are you still here? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought I was abandoned for a second. Let's see. Actually, I didn't notice this earlier. Do you start with six maxes on this map? You yeah, it's four. quite nice. And also, you get some sexy adjacency. Yeah, true. Also means some nice not to abuse as possible. I guess you need to start with this many maxes because there's barely any expanding maxes, <laughs> expansion maxes, aside from like the middle in between the two players. But <coughs> yeah, nice. Rate. There's also some some nice. Oh, rhythm. what happened? What happened to Banani? He walked his AC. Oh man. <laughs> You Hello? know, you should have just accidentally left instead of asking for a re. Yeah, just just don't be like me and ask nicely. Just leave. Oh oh shit! I accidentally crit. Sorry guys. Uh, it's one minute in. I guess we can start over. And yeah. no one will notice. You, you, I still can't believe that Dex gave you that re. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I. It, it made the game interesting since he knew what I was doing the next game. I was like super confused if I should try it again, but then I thought it would be really unfair if I wouldn't do the same PO. Because I actually considered making a normal one, but then I thought it would be super unfair, right? So I just, you know, I, I paid, I, in my head I paid the price for, like, he knows what he's doing and that he, uh, what I'm doing and that gives him a massive advantage. <laughs> but then I get to save my save myself. The AI, the, the grey AI is trying to steal Maxis from the green AI in the bottom left. <laughs> what the fuck? I think he's gonna... Oh no, he's barely not gonna get it. Yeah. No. Wait, what? The <laughs> the move order from the factory is like super small. The, the UI is kind of bugged. Oh wow, I see what you mean. What is that? The, the move order is like underneath the factory. It's like underneath... Oh, it's underneath the world. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's, it's like bugging out. It's like when you have maxes in the water, right? And it's like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, that it's, looks so weird. It's like it's beneath the world map. This one's fine. So yeah, that, that's a nice minute to uh, Mantis in your base. I guess the issue is still there, so it doesn't matter. So the red team... Team Gimplex seems like they're gonna send all the SUs out, but the moment Banani wants to leave, and Mantis is already there to snipe his engineers, and he's not turning around. Uh... Hello? Okay, a tank from uh, Grimplex luckily takes care of that. There's a transport the, to rush out. The AI is just spread. assisting factories. Look at those move commands! <laughs> They're all <laughs> far beyond what a mere mortal can reach. Uh, so let's see if uh, someone actually goes to capture some of those titans. I barely saw it in the last game I saw here, which is really unappreciating. Titans. If you get like some minute five titans online, it can be brutal. Yeah, but it's quite expensive power wise to capture them. I think you need that E2P gen, right? Otherwise, it just takes forever. <laughs> no, you, no, you don't. You just you stack one power. You just the thing is, capturing a single titan, the, the E spent on that is worth way more than the E spent on producing like 20 Tekken tanks. Mm. Oh yeah, I actually reduced the, the ecos of, of titans as well, so you know, it's even more efficient. <laughs> but um, it's definitely worth it to capture them quickly, no matter the ecos. Yeah, I just kind of forget about them, and at some point I just gave orders to reclaim them. <laughs> for oh titans. my god, you monster. Like, yeah, it was easier to click because I don't I didn't remember what my what my hotkey for capture is, so I just reclaimed them. Especially because they're Titans. Early game there they are the unit that can be most abused out of any uh, yeah, unit. That's true. Just because they self-heal. It's the kinda of the old har har harps. Yeah, exactly. In that regard. 
By they the don't... way, there's a tr successful drop from Inspector Cod, and the AI is not yet there, kind of. Yeah. Or at least not in the. Wait, there's ships there! Why yeah, they... it's three destroyers. Okay, I did not notice that before. Yeah, it's uh, like a depression, like the water water yeah, evaporated. Yeah. It's actually kind of cool. I mean, I think there's multiple map versions of this one. One of them has a lake in that little area, I believe. Oh yeah. I think that's why. Also, the the cliffs are steep, man. Oh yeah, they are. <laughs> they are massive. Yeah, you can see where the water was normally. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, anyway. So both it's... teams going to the middle. The Nexus's team, the airplane decides to just stay in the base and make use of his AC as a builder and it's you know just farm pigeons. Yeah, obviously. While the other AC is coming, uh, the AIs are actually quite passive this game, I think, compared I... to the mine. Like yeah, the, the amount of tanks the they are sending though, is very limited. On the left, the tanks are starting to build up. Uh... Yeah. Quite badly. It's it is worth pointing out that Complex uh, did uh, replace Rowan. Uh, uh, I've heard she got banned. Wait 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 wait. wait. Look at the AI. Uh, sorry, not Complex. What I'm saying, Gingerbread. What? Uh, look at one of the only one of the AIs out of the four ones is a normal, and three of them are cheating. So the game is kind of fucked. Because the the left AIs have two cheating ones, and the right one has one normal, and one cheating. Oh yeah, that's massively. That's that's actually fuck yeah. They 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 screwed up the settings. Who hosted? I don't know. Do you we, we should probably tell them and like either we. Yeah, know. that's that's such a massive difference. Yeah, yeah. Can you can you? I will. Uh... Wait, are they anywhere? So we can c tell them to at least pause the game and make a decision. I can ping them on Fev. Uh, who's most likely? I guess uh, I, you can ping Nexus. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, AIX versus normal AI. Uh, you can also see the <laughs> the one that has no score is the standard AI. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he's nothing. That's uh quite excellent. It's actually kind of interesting because the, the red team is actually ahead right now because they have the middle. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if they decide to just keep on playing because they have the control over the top reclaim, the bottom reclaim, and they have more ACs in the middle. That is actually true. Uh... <laughs> I mean, honestly... At this point, it should be up to the red team to decide because they are against. Yeah, yeah, they hosted. The red team hosted as well, so the, it's up to the red team. Yeah. Do you want to? Read? No. The, <laughs> the, <laughs> look at your position on the map. <laughs> it's too. Why? Why is? It... Oh yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, he, I think he just realized like it's on them to decide. Yeah, it's it's Nexus's advantage to decide. That's why he doesn't decide. That's why you guys decide. Yeah, yeah, because exactly. Because you're at a disadvantage. That's how it works. By the way, look at the uh, the stuff that the bottom right AI captured in Gingerbread Space. He captured a Max there and he's in a, in a pigeon. And a pigeon. <laughs> Wait, no, he built that pigeon, because Gingerbread is Sarah of him, and it's a Cybron pigeon. Oh, true. Oh, no, I forgot. The AI reclaims the mechs, then he builds his own mechs. They don't capture things for some reason. Yeah. I don't understand. 
Okay, they continue to play. Uh, that's I think fair. like that like Nexus has a lot of score, right? But he doesn't have access to that much reclaim. Like he's gonna run out very soon. While Inspector like gobbled up three destroyer wrecks, and now he's getting three more. Yeah, Nexus actually two destroyer, is... one cruiser. Nexus is stalling massively. He's upgrading three maxes at the time, but. I look on the left side. There are so many units. Like, they are not fighting in the PD range, or at least most of the units that are just just died because they had a terrible formation. Inspector yes. Cod has T two R. Gingerbread is about to finish this. I don't so... understand why nobody's moving their SUs up top because the reclaim in mid is gone, but they're still like eight K yeah, mass exactly. in the northern area. I guess the engineers are getting it, but that's not as safe as an ACU. Yeah, and, and here is, here happens, here's what happened to me as well. Like, look at the maxes in front of the uh, Bananas base. You have like random units coming through and engines capturing the maxes, and they interfere with your supply lines. It's really annoying. Yeah. You probably need a dedicated player to deal with uh, the AIs there. Yeah, like the like Bananas position, you just at, at after the early game, you just need to mostly hold the AI and then don't let it get in behind your mixes. Also, the oh okay, Banana is dropping. He's forced to drop engines because of the AI. Another thing to to remember is the AI likes to spam a lot of inties, and then I had an interesting fight where we won the. Uh, Air fight versus the enemy team, but then AI showed up with like 30 inties and like <laughs> cleaned the fight. <laughs> nice. Just absolutely raped everyone. Look how many units are there are on the left side. However, there are already two G2PDs, so yeah, it should be I, just... Uh, now it's uh, just a mass donation. The tech 2 pds are the best move he could have done. Yeah. Also one of the only moves. Wait, uh, what's he's... going on with the reclaim? When I hold control shift, like the reclaim is jumping around the map. It's because uh, it doesn't show all the labels uh, because then oh, okay. it shows a limited amount and I guess it updates uh, whenever a new uh, label arrives or gets removed. Yeah, yeah <coughs> And okay. it just chooses a random selection of labels. That's why okay. if you zoom in on some of the labels more, like the trees at the bottom yeah, right, yeah. A, see, lot, a lot more show up. <coughs> Alright, that's... Uh, so... System failure decided to move his army into the north position, killed a couple mechs and some build power, but the factories are alive and now all the tanks are getting cleaned up, so it's just more reclaim. Yeah. So you can see while Nexus was really ahead on score, now the whole, every single player from the left, the, the red team is actually ahead on, except for, like only Nexus in the right team has good score and good base. While on the left side, everyone is kind of equally developed but further ahead than system engineer bread and they have just have more control like they have control some control in the south although the ais are gonna soon take over I, it's actually nexus is raiding ais in the bottom i'm yeah. not sure how if i like that at all no it's it's irrelevant uh, what yeah. uh what is a crime is that all these uncaptured titans <laughs> yeah that's not crime against captured. humanity I one is getting captured by inspector code actually 20, 38 uh, E per second. No! Is uh, Greenflex is reclaiming them! Are you kidding me? He's reclaiming the Titans. Wow, I, I hate that so much. It's like, no, sure, he, you can. He ca Banani captured the first Titan. And yeah, he's moving out. Yeah, he captured it, but on the right of that, Greenflex is reclaiming his Titans for oh, 8. Both of them are dead. Instead of that 800 mass, just like just recycle 15 tech 1 tanks, for which is also 800 mass. Farms, and, a moment yeah. of silence for the fallen. Fallen titans <laughs> didn't get to live their lives. Oh, it's, that just depresses me. Just, just absolutely wiped from the memory. Oh. Nice. Uh... AI, nice grey uh, pigeon at the top left. I uh, wonder why, how that existed there. This exact same location as uh, happened to Gingerbread. Yeah, the thing is the PDs from Banani, they are kind of out of position. They protect his base, but they don't protect God. So they either yeah. need walls to funnel the units 
Yeah, actually, neither team is making any walls, which is pretty... That's another crime. Yeah. I like this uh, unit attack from uh, Inspector Gods through the middle. The units are just stacking up in mid. Actually, he should uh, go north from there, because if he goes right, he will just meet up with AI and and help uh, Nexus's team. I like how the AI from the left side just flew all the planes to the right side to defend their allies. <laughs> yeah. It's... And now they merged air forces as well, which is kind of <laughs> insane. Bad teamwork, baby. Yeah, that's like more Nexus. teamwork than 90% of FAF players <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> are capable of. A big push from Nexus, but it should be a master nation if Banani just engages with his ASU. I mean, Grimplex is on an upgrade, but he just started, he can cancel. Look at and... this push on the left, the Grey Army. Oh, man. That's... Yeah, that's, that's not what you like to see. It's Although not... AoE is killing all the reclaim. The reclaim is that. all gonna die, but you know. It's, oh, wait, it's... he retreats! The AI has more brain than most <laughs> other players. Actually. Wow. That's impressive. Too bad they have no AI though. <laughs> it wasn't accidentally clicked this time. <laughs> Feels bad, man. Oh, instantly dispatches the Indies. Same there on the right side of the map. I'm still curious. Let's see which AI has the most income. Mr. Stackhouse. Oh no, that was just reclaim related. Any of them building a tech free max? No. Okay, so it's actually, it's kind of hard to see without Supreme Scoreboards, but I think it's relatively... I don't see anything with Supreme Scoreboard. <laughs> oh, I see. Uh, T3 Air on the way for Gingerbread, but it's not assisted a lot. Oh, Red he's actually a lot. Then. Inspector God already has his T3 Pigeon on and he's making a strat as we speak, so... That oh. strat might uh, do a lot. Nexus is, sh is safe. He has a shield. Can't wait for uh, uh, a nice Suzuji move and a hover bomb under the shields and then drop a bomb there. Excuse me, but I'm the, the first person that did that uh, in my uh, memory. Yeah, yeah, exactly. In your memory, yeah. <laughs> I showed it on stream, okay? And that's how it got popularized. And when did you I'm show certain. that? Uh, like one one year ago or and, something like that. And you think in the twelve years prior to that, nobody ever did it? Well, not. I don't recall anyone actually doing that. Oh, that's because you haven't been around for that long. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Yes. When did you join FAF? Hmm? Two thousand thirteen. Oh, two thousand fourteen for me. <laughs> I think it's the same for both. I joined in two thousand thirteen, played like five games, and then didn't touch it for two years. Well, I played a uh, co-op with my brother first. Sounds lame. I mean, it was really fun. We used <laughs> some some mods as well. But I watched. I already back then watched uh, a game of Zog versus someone on VF Three. There are lo loyalists involved. That's that much I remember. Actually, technically, my first FA game was in two thousand eight. FA or FAF? FA. Oh, my first FA game was when I was six years old and I was playing campaign, all right? <laughs> no, like seven, okay. It was in 2010. And my first FAF game was when a friend invited me and then he hosted Astro Kratos for me. <laughs> I've never played Astro Crater, I think, when it... I was starting out. Only all, I was the master of Gap of Rohan. And the only thing I remembered when I was playing FAF like a few years prior, uh, I, I mostly didn't play FA, but I played like the original uh, subcom, uh, and uh, Mon and it was then kind of meta in the few players that were left because it already died down pretty quickly when I played it. Mm -hmm. uh, but if, what everybody did was just uh, spam mongoose or hoplites, and then you just have mongoose hoplite wars on on the three v three on open palms, basically. Sounds like what 2018. <laughs> and then. Uh, and then uh, I uh, I played with my friends on uh, uh, Astro Kratos, and then I just rushed Mongoose. And I was like, hmm, they are all dying to his line of tech 2 PDs. <laughs> I thought they were strong. My first ladder <laughs> game was versus Voodoo on Blasted Rock. Sadly, he never connected. 
<laughs> At least I got 1k ladder quickly. <laughs> Anyway, what is going on? Nobody breached the 100 income yet. Yeah, it's kind of a mess. The AIs are actually putting up a quite a good fight. There are T2 tanks in Nexus' base, killing his build power. Yeah, I think it's actually... Uh... Nexus is trying to rush at T3 Max. And he has control of middle, but... Makes sense. I don't like him rushing that Max to Tech 2, because if there's a Max getting stratted, it's either those two or the two below. Well, there are T1 bomber. Oh, never mind. That's, these are allied bombers. Yeah. I mean, the strat killed like two T2 two, two max and then just died to Inti. So I completely pretty... didn't look at the strats. I forgot yeah, I was looking at it. it. It didn't do anything. I just getting reclaimed. Yeah, this game is a mess indeed. I, it's so hard to see what's going on. Let me actually go into the POV of some of the players. I don't see a lot actually. Yeah, like... it's like quite difficult. You're so spread out, and the AI is so annoying everywhere. Because you need to have PDs uh, or units in every single place where you have maxes. You're like just getting assaulted from like 200 degree. Yeah, the thing is the position of uh, uh, Banani's firebase is actually quite bad because right south of that is that huge drop off cliff or more like a ramp. Uh, also, they still haven't walled off the left side, which is, you know, it leaves uh, quads open for raids. Now, a big push from Nexus in mid, actually. But it's mostly tech 1. Uh, but actually, Grimplex is kind of trapped. He uh, needs to give up the plateau there to system failure. But uh, Grimplex is actually making tech 3 maxes. So he is ahead on eco on system, even though he will lose this uh, fight. Yeah, I, I'm i really not sure when exactly, but like the left team had so much more reclaim in the middle and then so much more control there, and then they just kind of gave everything up. I mean, most of the reclaim advantage went to Kotz for dropping mid, and he spent it on the earlier tech tree air, but the strat kind of whiffed. Wait, there's, yeah, a, there's a big raid in Nexus's base. How did this army get here? It's gonna Wait, kill what? so much. <laughs> it's gonna kill the TP Max, and it has a Titan leading the charge. Oh and no! And the Titan has 2k mass kill. That's, That's horrible. An MVP. Nexus is not responding either. His army is a bit out of position, and he's yeah, still he getting like a... AFK army. And the the all the units are just shift jeet on top of the TP Max. <laughs> this is actually terrible. I don't, I don't, I don't think Nexus will quit. But look at the amount of f fucking T3 air scouts from Gingerbread. Five, ten, oh 14, 15. That's so much mass. That's like, what? How much does one cost? Fifteen. Like 300 I, mass? I'm sorry, twenty-eight. Oh, sorry. That's five K mass. <laughs> Jesus, he's still making more hits spamming than on repeat. <laughs> God help us. Now you can see who's vulnerable to a snipe. Sadly. Um, he spent all the mass to see who's vulnerable and not <laughs> yeah. making the actual snipe. So, uh, there's a big difference. As you can see, the PD base from Banani is... Nexus doesn't have any PDs, he was relying on units. And I still think, uh, from what I saw the other game, just... PD spam is better than unit spam. And, and if you want to defend only. <laughs> like, if it, if there's no reclaim in mid, there's a reason to go for unit spam and try to overwhelm the AI early on. But if your ACU has to leave for mid, you just have to PD up your base, kinda. And, uh, I think it's important to point out that even though Grimplay, uh, I mean, Gingerbread had no, like, no air, he managed to snipe the, the strat from Cot. Wait, okay. what? <laughs> I don't know what happens. Gingerbread just got caught. It just had the AC in the middle of nowhere and it just died, died to the T2 army. Uh, I, I think Nexus is, Nexus lost every single Cormax, by the way. I, and all of his power as I well. I mean, they, they may... I assume they're in voice together and they probably kind of gave up. Maybe he controlled Gate. I thought Gingerbread was still pretty healthy. No, 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 he was, he was, his AC was just wandered off in the middle of nowhere, and there was like a giant army suddenly. Okay. Also, they're trying to kill uh, Grimplex, but there's all a strat that's being heavily microed, and it's just gonna kill the army. Oh, yeah, 
that's true. Yeah, Us, I think this is kind of game over. The only thing Banani is missing is a single tech two shield on that firebase. So actually, if the red team wins this game, they're gonna kick Nexus out of the tourney. Yeah, true. Or at least put him into the loser's bracket. Which is kinda, you know, hard oh, to get yeah, out of. Since it re requires so many games to be played. And you kinda lose the motivation <laughs> quite quickly. I mean, the thing is, for, for me, I have the feeling that there's already been so many games played, but... Uh, I've been here for five hours. This is Nexus's first series. This is his second yeah. game only. So. Yeah, but then like you need to wait around. You cannot just go and do something else. You need to keep looking. No, he can probably start the next series right after this game. I mean, there's no next game for after this one. Yeah, there is losers brackets. No, no, no. The losers bracket is gonna the the game of Nexus versus whoever is gonna be played tomorrow. Uh, no. Oh, never Oh, really? Loser's bracket round one is gonna be played today, and uh, the loser of this game will go to loser's bracket round one. Oh, I, yeah, you're actually right, sorry. Yeah. So yeah, Nexus is just gonna suicide, you know it's over. Yeah. Yeah, it's... System failure is probably gonna do the same. Yeah, don't worry, they at least have perfect vision. <laughs> <laughs> oh, never mind, all the scouts died. At least they have some mass left. Yeah, but... I mean, that, that raid was just so brutal, it just appeared yeah, out of nowhere. I still don't know how that got there. I think it just walked around in the, like, for the, like, between the middle and the crater, there's like a passage with one max, I think just walked there. Yeah. Randomly. I'm still offended that nobody spammed any walls. Uh, I mean, there are some now. Some from Banani, but not enough. And too late, also. They yeah. are like kind of non important. And, and the PDs are hitting the walls. Look at the, the barrage <laughs> in, the, in the Banani's base. It's just lighting the hill on fire. I'm, I'm still proud of the, the effects. I've seen them for too long, I don't remember what they previously looked like. They look they had the same effect as the T1 frigate, which was like like the same as Striker basically. <laughs> nice. More or less. That's poor Hill. What did they do wrong? I don't, I, I still don't understand why people just don't make a single tech 2 shield in their main base. I look at <coughs> Game Black's base, in the middle of all his maxes, a single tech 2 shield protects them all. And you can that, then also... That requires too much thinking, you expect too much. <laughs> it's like... like... I, I don't think about these things as well, like, I just assume I won't get stratted since with my supreme control of the map, there's no way a strat... It's a team too. game! Imagine trusting your allies in the team game. Like, of done... course I'm gonna trust them with my life. I bet Excuse you do. Me? If you trust them, why do you always complain about them? <clears throat> well, it's because I trust them and, you know, they let me down. That's why I complain. No, if they let you down, then there's all more reason to be scared of, of uh, random hair things happening to your base. Too much logical thinking, okay? Like, I, I'm on my break here. I, I've i passed my logic exams, okay? I, I don't want to go back there. <laughs> the classic system is gonna delay the game. Yeah, for five more minutes. While the AI kills his base. <laughs> Kappa. <laughs> well, there are two hero Percival's just standing idle and killing all the, the stuff that rolls over there. Yeah, this AI really likes to spam T3 units. Look at that. Five support, five T3 factories coming up. 
some mud spam. Where? In the bottom right. Oh, holy shit, yeah. Some serious firepower. Dude, though, there's almost 200 income. He, uh, he's stealing Maxes from the his uh, lesser friend. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, he's getting more mass from them, okay? So it's efficient. Mm, that's true. <laughs> he's not making any eco, though. He's still on tech to maxes. Like, you see yeah. the big difference. Uh, the AIs on the... Like, the Uviso AI... He made less spam, but at this point in the game, he was starting to get close to full tech tree eco. Yeah, but on the other hand, like you, you wish uh, AI, AI would be kind of boring on this map since they would just sit in the corner and not interrupt the human players. Um, and this AI like tries to raid you everywhere and take your Rexes. It's for this map, I think true, it's yeah. way better. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Although preferably there would be some sort of combination, roughly. Yeah, like once it takes like its map, it should realize that it should eco. But you know, it's kind of hard to make an AI do that, I guess. Yeah, or like, make the decision that uh, before uh, uh, before going to tech three lands, or before making this many support factories, you at least want some tech three maxes. Something like yeah. that. At least storage all the maxes, like. <laughs> yeah. Uh, actually, the AI on the bottom left has three tech three maxes. Hey, if he storages a tech tree max with just two storages, the income is about the same as a normal tech tree max. Who would have known? I wouldn't. <laughs> it's actually two more. Yeah. Just normal tech tree max, that's 27. That's but said, it drains almost, the same amount of E. Almost. So what's system doing? Doing just killing in mid. I'm surprised Cod didn't just make like 15 billion strats. It's continuing to build air versus the enemy that has 4 ASF. I guess they don't know what's happening on the other side of the map because they haven't scouted that. In uh, <laughs> ten minutes since since that raid on Nexus's base. Oh, sister might die here. There's uh, eight Percy's, ten Percy's after him. There's no way he survives that. He can't one shot them either. Sixty HP. How dare they? Yeah, that's true. Nexus also had the normal, but they were doing fine against the AI. Uh, it was just the moment the raid happened to Nexus. It's kind of fucked things over. But still, it's aside from a few players, most people are just playing normally against the AI instead of trying to abuse it. It's with tactics, which is a bit uh, sad. No one cares did a good job at it. Uh, with the first bomber, which you think might not be useful, but the AI doesn't make AA, so it's just infinite damage, basically. <laughs> and then, I think, not Wi-Fi. I think Limes did a good job versus him as well, or versus an AI. Captured sites. Yeah, but the AI doesn't even. He doesn't know how to capture units, sadly. At least uh, not all of them do. This one doesn't. 